Hello and thank you very much for clicking play in this video. I'm Jose Nunes and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to manage search engines on Internet Explorer. Now I also have how to manage search engines on Google Chrome and in Firefox. To find them all you need to do is go to YouTube. If it, well it obviously should be there now. And go to my channel. At J known as E2S and on my channel if you look to the right expand this a bit if you look future playlists you will find how to remove Babylon list so you click on that and there is all the videos about how to remove Babylon manage search engines and other tips and tricks that you can use on your browser now let's go back here to Internet Explorer homepage and to manage search engines on Internet Explorer you click on this uh, gear tool and go to manage add-ons search providers and now you can see here I only have Bing for now now the reason I have Bing is because this is the default uh, search engine provider for Microsoft okay so to get more providers, all I'm going to do is go down here and click Find More Search Engine Providers. So if I click on that and then type there Google and click Search. Now I want to add Google.com, so add this to my Internet Explorer. And I can make this now my default provider straight away. But instead of doing it here, I'm going to show you how to do earlier inside on uh, search engine providers so just click add and now i go back because i want the dot com dot uk as well this one here so add okay now if i close this you can see it doesn't show here so all i have to do now is just uh, kind of let me just check this out here and go back to Manage add-ons again, searches and providers, and now you can see I have Google. Okay, and all I have to do, because I can disable the, the default one instead before I add a new one. So if I go down now, it has selected and set as default. Okay, then click on Bing. Now I can remove Bing because I have Google. So you always have to have one search engine in order to remove the other, otherwise the browser doesn't work. Uh, another thing you may want to do is uh, click on uh, accelerators and or tracking protection toolbar extensions. Sorry, you click on toolbar extensions so you can see. You may find some Babylon stuff here. Okay, and to remove, you have enable or disable just by selecting enable and disable. Another thing you may want to do is go here and run run without permissions so check out what's running on your uh, browser without permissions so obviously everything i got here is microsoft because i already cleaned my browsers but you also may found other uh, malware and software that may be running on your browser without your permission so basically select it and disable uh, before removal so the removal i already have video show you how to remove now if you still have problems and Babylon still has not disappeared from your Internet Explorer, what you want to do is remove Internet Explorer completely by going to your control panel. Okay, so there you go. So before I go ahead and show you how to remove Internet Explorer from your system, I thought I would just show you two extra features that are only available on Internet Explorer because they are Microsoft. And this will help you protect your privacy and give you more control how you browse the internet and, you know, prevents malware from sharing your search providers and on all the other things. So, let's take a quick look at those. Okay, so we're gonna go to the gear tool again. Top right hand corner. Click on that. We'll go back to manage and dons. And search engine providers. Now, if you look down here, prevent programmers from suggesting changes to my default search provider. So, click that box, okay? The next one, we're gonna go again back to the tool, to the gear tool, 
and we go to internet options and we go here change how web pages are displayed in tabs so right now if you click on it you can see my opens in a home page but yours may still on the default settings so internet options settings and here yours may be like this okay so if I click OK and now if I open a new tab it opens here so to change that all you need to do is change that setting again to internet options settings and your first home page click OK and OK again and now if you open a new tab it opens in your default home page so this way you know you always open you know page okay so there you go so now how to remove internet explorer from your system so that's very easy all you have to do is click on the button showing on the screen right now and i will take you to my channel where you can see more videos how to protect yourself against malware obviously in these days we need to take that in account anyway so i also use a, a risky cleaner software which is AVS, which I've been using for, for a couple of years now and never give me any problem, it doesn't cause my computer to slow down or files to go missing uh, and it does, it does that job for you Okay, so if you've got any questions, please comment, rate and subscribe leave your comments below, ask questions or email me in private, I'm here to help I'm Jose Nunes, thanks for watching, bye bye